Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Clarendon Fender shot dead while fighting off alleged robbers. A 42-year-old female vendor was shot dead in Comfort District in Four Pass Clarendon after she reportedly tried to disarm alleged robbers with a machete on Sunday. The deceased has been identified as 42-year-old Marisa Sean Smith Martin, also known as Brownie, a vendor of the Beckford Christian Sandy Bay in the parish. Police say Martin was shot in the head. Reports were that about 10 15 a.m., Martin and another woman, who escaped unhurt, were shoving along Comfort Main Road in a silver AD wagon motor vehicle selling household items and zippers. On reaching a section of the roadway, they were stopped by a man who ordered a pair of zippers. Both women exited the vehicle and went to the rear of the car where the zippers were located. While talking to the man, another male armed with a handgun approached them. Both men allegedly proceeded to rob Martin and the other woman of their cell phones and an undetermined sum of cash. Martin reported a pull a machete in an attempt to disarm the gunman who shot her in the head. The shooter reported they drove off with Martin's car while the other man ran off into the bushes. Residents alerted the police and Martin's body was found with multiple gunshot wounds. Police say a machete with a black handle was found next to the body. Martin's silver AD wagon motor vehicle was later found abandoned along the Ranbury Main Road in the parish. Popular jerk chicken vendor shot dead in Westmoreland. A popular jerk chicken vendor was reportedly shot dead during an arm robbery at his jerk stand along the Mbona Main Road in Savannah Lamar, Westmoreland on Sunday morning. He has been identified as 41-year-old Errol MacDonald, otherwise called Jerky. The police say that about 12.30 a.m., MacDonald and a teenage boy were at his jerk stand when a motorcycle with two men approached them. The pilant disembarked and pointed a firearm at them and robbed them of two phones and an undetermined sum of cash. The gunman then reportedly opened for hitting MacDonald in the head before escaping. The police were summoned and on arrival, MacDonald was seen lying in a pool of blood. He was transported to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Persons have since taken to social media to condemn the killing. One user on Facebook stated, This one hurts. No more jerk chicken. Nick. So sad. Mankind wicked. What did he do to, the de to deserve this? Another user said, why them never just take the money and chicken and go along? I knew you from your baby. Oh my God, this is very sad, the user lamented. Investigations into the incident are ongoing. Residents found a missing man's body during search in Lawrence Tavern. A search for a missing man led to the discovery of his body along the Krishna River in Krishna District, Lawrence Tavern, St. Andrew, Sunday morning. Up to press time, the dead man had still not been identified, police stated. It was reported that around 11 a.m., residents of the area were searching for a missing person who is alleged to be the now deceased in bushes in the community. While following a foot trail that led to the Kushni River, they stumbled upon a partially decomposed body protruding from the ground in a shallow grave. The residents summoned the police and on their arrival, lawmen saw the body in a shallow grave with the upper and lower sections covered with dirt and almost seen above ground from the shoulder down to the fingers. The ear was posted to the body removed pending a postmortem examination. The struggle is real for a mom of murdered 15 year old. The mother of a murdered 15 year old student of Homo Technical High School in Manchester is still struggling with the death of her eldest daughter. I am still unhappy, said Latoya Reese, mother of Nastasia Turner. Turner died earlier this year after sustaining injuries reportedly at the hands of her cousin. Allegations are that a question of paternity led to the youngsters being bullied by her father's niece, along with Reese called for intervention falling on deaf ears. The 16-year-old girl accused of the crime was charged recently with manslaughter, confirmed Deputy Superintendent of Police Winston Milton, the commanding officer for Trelawney. Her first court date was last month. However, Reese told reporters that she is still struggling with the loss of her daughter after her senseless killing in their Mendes Town community in Trelawney on Tuesday, March 14. Reese further explained that though she is grateful that the accused girl has been brought before the court, she is saddened that her daughter, who she said was full of life, cannot be brought back. Mina happy. I am still unhappy because I am still grieving. I feel better that I am going to get justice for my daughter 
but I am not happy because this cannot bring her back, she told the Porters. During a previous interview to Porters, Reese shared that she cannot forget the sight of her daughter lying on the road. Reese remembers it even vividly as her daughter came home from school complaining about being bullied by her cousin. The mother said that her daughter also complained about pain from cramps and she went to purchase painkillers from a nearby community shop. Unlike other reports, Reese told reporters that her daughter did not attempt to fight back and she is left traumatized after seeing Turner's head being slammed onto the roadway. The mother and daughter duo had reportedly shared a close bond. Just days before her death, Reese said that Turner sent her a heartwarming message to share her love and respect for her. In the message which was shared with reporters, Turner told her mother that she was grateful to have her support. Love is a great gift that we should never take for granted. I am very lucky to have you, Mom, and I appreciate you, how much you genuinely care for me. I never had to ask you for love. You gave it freely and without question, Turner said. She continued, There are many people that are not so lucky. Thank you for never judging me, for always being by my side and for loving me every day. In addition to that, the youngster went on to thank her mother for showing her the importance of having good values and morals. Virtue is something you instill in me. Its importance helped me every day of my life. Even if it didn't seem like it, I was listening to everything that you have seen and to what you taught me. I was and it made me become the better person that I am today. I live and love with honesty, respectfulness and integrity, the 15-year-old said to her mother three days before her death. I know there is nothing you wouldn't do for me, the youngster further stated. Turner ended her message with, I love you, mom, to which Reese responded, I love you too, my firstborn. The grieving mother told reporters that it is through that interaction with her daughter that she finds the strength to fight for justice. When the days are not getting easier, as Reese has two other daughters who are also struggling with the death of their big sister, they are not handling it well. We are all still grieving, she said before stating that her 14-year-old daughter is now attending counseling to help her through the grief process. She is still going to counseling. I had to bring her to counseling at the hospital, and I still have to pay to get her counseling. Even Monday morning, my mother had to go bring her to counseling. Sometimes she just sit and look out of space with a blank face. Whenever others are crying, she doesn't cry at all, Reese explained. As for her extended family, Reese said that they too are still grappling with the youngster's death. Turner is fully remembered by her infectious laugh and her ambition of becoming a member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force after completing her studies. Reese said that was the source of an additional heartache which she deals with daily. Missy people are getting ready to pay for their children exam and I don't have my daughter I want to pay for, she said, pointing out that Turner would not be preparing to sit her CSEC examinations. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, 